Hey guys, what's up, Pixels here? In today's video, we're going over the latest balance changes on Evil Dead the game. Uh, some of them are a bit, uh, you know, I've read through them. Some of them are a bit concerning. Some of them are a bit like, okay, I can see why that obviously needed adjusting and stuff. But we're just going to read through them in any ways and just discuss things along the way. So, uh, survivors. Uh, so, these are the survivor nerfs and buffs that we're going to get. So, uh, this is actually live right now. This is all done on the server side. So, you won't have to download a patch or anything like that. Uh, this is all done on the server. So, you know, these are all like damage numbers and stuff. Um, nothing's actually been patched. You know, there hasn't been any like fixes to like animation canceling or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so this will be live right now. If you guys load up your game, you'll you'll see that all these different numbers and stuff now. So, uh, Hunter's stamina generation changed from 35 stamina points per second to 20 stamina points per second. I think this definitely needed a nerf. Uh, it was quite ridiculous how much faster the, the stamina would regen on Hunters compared to other uh other classes in the game so it makes sense that they did that you know i, I was fine with that change uh revive from bleeding out state time change from three seconds to four seconds i'm not really a fan of this maybe you won't notice the entire second i do think the revive animation um is pretty quick but the problem is with the the revive animation right now is if you're not actually doing the animation you won't pick that person up so you know you could stand there the progress bar will go up and then it won't actually revive them so uh, I think they probably should have patched that first before they decided to make a balance change with that because you do tend to spend like an extra second reviving someone in anyways because of that bug. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess when the animation does work, they do revive pretty quickly, but I think they should have waited for that change, to be honest. Uh, stamina upgrade level four. The stamina cost reduction percentage changed from 50% to 40%. Again, I can see why they did that. I suppose it's a, you know, a relatively fair change, uh, especially for hunters. So... I think it's only hunters that actually do get level four, isn't it? Um, on uh, on the pink fuck, so yeah, it does make sense. Um, the boss headshot damage multiplier to Henrietta changed from one point five to one point two five, so <laughs> uh, it doesn't really uh, do. You know, it's been obviously nerfed down if you do hit a headshot on her. Again, I can kind of see this has sort of been a way to combat the hunters in the game, hitting the headshots on the bosses and making them a bit. You know the headshots a bit weaker and do less damage. Um, same applies to Elagos and Evil Ash as well. One point five to one point two five. Uh, the character abilities. So these this is where things get a bit interesting and a bit. What were they doing here? Uh, Leader Ash El Hefe or range bonus damage change from ten from ten to fifteen percent. So you got a nice little buff there. I kind of like that because you know being a Leader Ash man, I think he did need to bring a little bit more to the team. And honestly, I thought he was already good the way he was at. So the fact they buffed him uh, kind of makes him, you know, I think they're going to make him a bit like a sort of like a higher pick character now as well, which is nice to see. Um, and he's how it's an aura bonus range damage changed from 10% uh, from ten to 25%. So uh, they buffed Annie as well, which is great uh, for range characters as well. Uh, you know, you know the, the certain combinations in the game right now, you know, if you have Annie with Hunters and stuff could be pretty uh, overpowered. So I can kind of see why they... You know, they kind of nerf the hunters a little bit and then, you know, they're going to be able to bring in Annie so then it'll buff their damage back up to the, you know, the headshot multiplier standard and stuff like that. So I can kind of see what they're trying to do here. Uh, Lord Arthur, uh, the melee bonus damage changed from 30% to 20%. So he's had a bit of a nerf. And honestly, now that he's had a bit of a nerf, I'm starting to think that leader Ash is actually the best leader in the game uh, at the moment because not only does he give you the 15%, but every time he does a finisher, then that's like pretty much doubled. And on top of that, uh, he also gives great fear resistance. So honestly, I'm starting to think Leader Ash is the best leader in the game at this point now. Uh, Warrior Ash, unfortunately, has been nerfed a couple of uh, a couple of times here. So his shield damage explosion has changed from 200 to uh, 125. I mean, I, I kind of see why that happened because uh, I believe it was doing actually like double the amount of damage as Scotty's ability, which kind of made no sense because this was like a passive that could trigger pretty you know, often. So uh, I can kind of see where they did that. And not only that, his wise man potion durations changed from 25 seconds uh, to 20 seconds. So uh, the cooldown has changed from 60 to 80 seconds as well. So they've added a 20 second cooldown on top of that. And not only that, uh, the damage reductions changed from 50 to 30 percent as well. So uh, I was actually toying around with um, with a build with this guy all weekend, where it was kind of based around his potion and you know soaking up damage. And I, to be honest, I kind of felt a bit unkillable. So. I mean, I can kind of see when they've done it. At the same time, I think Warrior Ash was the most popular uh, solo queue character because uh, the reason being is that he can kind of self-sustain himself even against, like, the possessed basic Henrietta spam that we're dealing with right now in the meta. So, you know, 
uh, the fact that they've nerfed him, it kind of screamed, like, to me, it kind of says that they've been doing these balance changes according to Survivor Friends more than, you know, solo queue. So, uh, like I said, you know, if people in solo queue can stick together, it's obviously a lot better, but it's very scarce in solo queue. People drift out, go and, go and literally loot on their own, and they die, and they DC and stuff like that, which is kind of annoying. So, you know, doing solo queue is not fun, but... You know, when, when you do have, like, these basic numbers, like, before they've been nerfed and you have them in with, like, like a team of people, I can see how overpowered they can actually become. So, it's kind of weird uh, being able to sort of balance this game around RNG, really, which is, <laughs> you know, randoms. You're not sure what randoms are going to do. You're not sure what loot you're going to get in that game and so on. So, uh, anyways, let's move on. So, Hunter Ash has also had a 30-second uh, um, cooldown added on top of his ability. And the energy reduction has changed from 15 to 20%. So that's had a little buff for the energy reduction, but you can only do it every minute and a half now, which to me, with the current meta right now, it, I, I don't see why this got an, an extra 30 seconds added to it. I think that's a bit ridiculous. Maybe, you know, 15 would have been fine, but 30 seconds is it's kind of out of there for me. Uh, but anyways, um, Ed Getley's It's a Trap cooldown has been changed by an extra 30 seconds as well. A bit drastic there. Um, I, I, I didn't play much of Ed, but, you know, I can kind of see why they did it. Maybe they thought, like, you know, demons could never place traps down. They weren't being very useful, so I can kind of see it being a bit of a problem there. Uh, the collectors actually had an increase in the probability of finding higher rarity loot boxes as well. So it's time to play Ed and get some better weapons. <laughs> They've actually done that. Uh, Kelly's had a nerf as well. Uh, the buff time stack has changed from 2% to 1%. Uh, so now I believe originally she had a 60% buff because it went 2% every second and it went up to 30 seconds with the buff in combat. So now it's gone obviously down to half of that. So now it's only about 30%. I do believe her name is. A lot of people told me it was only a 30% buff, but it only goes up per second if you watch it in the corner. So it would make sense that it goes up to 60%, right? Um, but anyways... Uh, Cheryl's healing area has been nerfed from 6 meters to 5 meters as well. So a lot of nerfs rather than buffs for the survivors here. I think we've had like 3 buffs in total. Uh, Ed got a buff. Hunter Ash got a little bit of a buff. Uh, but my, like, more or less a massive nerf. Um, Lord Arthur got a nerf. Annie got a bit of a buff. Leader Ash got a buff. So um, it feels like it's more nerfs than anything else. Okay, so Last Chance got a nerf. I'm just looking at it on the... Uh, on the on the actual um on the game i couldn't remember what last chance was but it's the, the increased damage dealt with the last bullet in the gun that's actually been nerfed to 20 percent at level four as well uh so i mean that makes sense last chance was a bit uh overpowered in my opinion so i can kind of see why they did that uh i need to mute that <laughs> um deadly up close has also been nerfed from 25 percent to 20 percent and steam power has also been nerfed. i think steam power is balanced bar damage is it oh no that's stopping power so what's steam power Okay, so staying power is actually um, the hunter stamina, uh, maximum stamina. So the maximum they can go up to now is 15% on top of what they obviously have as base. So yeah, I can kind of see why that got nerfed. Like I said, hunter stamina for me was a bit of an issue, but to be honest, I think a lot of these nerfs were a little bit uncalled for in some cases. Uh, so now we're on the Kandarian demon side of the of the balance changes. So infernal energy regeneration has changed from 15 points per second to 20 points per second during the Necronomicon phase. Uh, I suppose this is to make it easier if maybe to attack the or destroy the book. Um, the next one is Skeleton Elite Arms Health was changed from 100 to 200. So, yeah, I would say the, the elites kind of got wiped out pretty quick on the Necromancer side. Uh, I did notice that with some uh, dismemberment uh, weapons and stuff. So, uh, possessions at level 5. Um, extra health of possessed units changed from 40 to 50 percent so now <laughs> uh possession level five just makes it even harder to kill uh possessed units the next one is possessed survivor headshot bonus multiplier to other survivors has been nerfed as well so you can't really uh take down the survivors as fast which is nice to see i didn't want to see um you know people getting possessed and just obviously wiping out the team or anything like that uh possessed elite deadite health has been changed from 2,800 to 3,000, so the elites have had a bit of a buff. Uh, possessed elite skeleton health has been changed from 2,000 to 2,250, so that's had a little buff as well. Uh, possessed berserker health changed from 1,300 to 1,500. 
the Berserkers are Henrietta's basics, I believe, right? Or is that... No, no, that's Henrietta's um, elite, sorry. Uh, so her elites have been buffed as well. Uh, car possession, maintain energy cost change from 0.5 to 0.3. Per second, uh, car possession energy cost change from 100 to 60, so you can possess cars a bit easier. Uh, increased arms dismemberment resistance for elite skeletons. So I think they were a bit concerned with the skeleton arms getting chopped off. Unfortunately, that's kind of made dismemberment builds a little bit, uh, a little bit pointless. I mean, it depends how much resistance they've actually added to it. Obviously, they said that their their uh, health was changed uh, to 200, but we'll have to see what the dismemberment resistance is like. So. This is where things get really uh, kind of out of hand, in my opinion, uh, <laughs> because th this is something I deal with a lot, and it, they've just made it a lot harder to kind of deal with. So, Possessed Deadite Stun Times on Warlord. Uh, basics have gone from 1.5 seconds to 1 second. I'm not sure why they've done that. Uh, elites have gone from 1.5 to 1 second, and the boss has gone from 2 seconds to 1.5, so they've actually made her a lot harder to deal with if they weren't, you know, Warlords weren't hard enough to deal with already. Uh, possessed Deadites balance bar changes have also been buffed from 300 to 400 for the basics. Uh, so the basics now are still going to be even harder to take down when they're possessed. Uh, elites have gone from 525 to 625 and the boss has gone from 800 to 900. So, you know, massive balance bar uh, di differences here. Um, like I said, it, the main one is obviously the basic because this is what we're seeing so much in the meta now is the basics being possessed and spammed over and over again. And they've literally just made it harder for survivors to even deal with. And the fact that this balance change is more survivor nerfs, like I said, it really screams that this is this balance change right now has been done for survivor friends because, you know, people playing the solo queue are going to have a really rough time with this now. Uh, especially, you know, because, you know, so many people are going to be playing Warlord. Like, I played three Warlords earlier. I didn't win a single game, apart from one that was AFK. Uh, and, 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 you know, I, I was playing Scotty as well. He's a damage dealer. And I was just getting abs we were just getting absolutely demolished. It's just, like, you know, it's concerning the fact that Warlord right now is better at possession than the Puppeteer. It just doesn't make any sense because, you know, Puppeteer was meant to be a possession-based uh demon and you know warlord is actually doing better at possession than the puppeteer so it's very very weird but anyways uh puppeteer has had a bit of a buff as well with the balance bar changes you know going from 230 to 330 and uh, the elite's gone from 450 to 550 that's kind of crazy with the elites because i thought the elites were quite you know tanky as it was on puppeteer which was you know i thought the elite was kind of in a nice spot but they've they've buffed them up even more uh so then we move on to necromancer uh, the possessed denite stun time changes. Basics have gone from one second, uh, from one point five to one second. Elites have gone from two seconds to one point five, and the boss has gone from two seconds to one point five. The boss one I'm fine with because I think Evil Ash does get wiped out pretty fast. Um, it's the same with the basics as well. The basic possession, uh, they've gone f up to four hundred with balance bar. Elites have gone up to five fifty, and the boss has gone up to eight hundred as well. So, like I said, I, I'm a, I'm a bit of a fan with some of the. Some of the changes, you know, I think some of them were needed, but I think it's kind of ridiculous that they've kind of buffed up Warlord right now with the way it is. Um, I think maybe a lot more people are going to have, you know, on the Survivor side at least, they're going to have a lot of issues with that. Um, you know, me mainly playing Survivor. I'm trying to see the best on both sides here. Like I said, it feels like a lot of this was changed due to survivor friends and people abusing like certain things which is totally fine but at the same time you've got to remember what people have to deal with in solo queue as well and you know trying to balance the game around solo queue again is it's maybe it's close to impossible but i think for the you know going around the community right now the main concern was this as well as their hunter's stamina and hunter damage um obviously this has actually just been buffed and it's just there's no nerfs there whatsoever which is very concerning for uh you know, for the health of the game right now, because like I said, you know, having a meta that is based around possession spam and, you know, people getting puked on, animation cancelled and getting hit like three or four times and going down. I just don't think like, you know, people coming who are new to the game and they're going to have to be dealing with stuff like this. Um, You know, there is obviously ways around, you know, doing the basic possession spam, you know, oh, go hop through a window, get in a vehicle and stuff like that. But a lot of people, you know, they don't want to play it is that higher level type of stuff they want to just obviously have a casual experience and you know 
Uh, I think, like I said, it doesn't make sense for Warlord to be at its current state right now. I think Puppeteer should be that type of that type of demon that is more of a menace for the possession rather than Warlord. I understand with Warlord what it should be is more tank and less damage. Uh, and like I said, like her, her basics being possessed, her elites being possessed and stuff, they should be hard to take down, but they shouldn't be doing that much damage right now, and it's quite ridiculous. So I, I do think that, you know... In the future, they need to look at the, the damage numbers with Warlord at least. So, and like I said, even if a coordinated team, they can be very problematic. So, uh, it's, it's kind of weird that they've done that. But, uh, anyways, hopefully, we're going to, you know, we're going to test out some balance changes today. I'm going to be streaming this game today as well. So, uh, you can hop in, in the stream and, you know, let me know what you guys think of all the balance changes. But, anyways, uh, I'm just going to leave it there. I'll let me <laughs> leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of the balance changes. Uh, leave this video a like as well. Uh, like I said, I, this dropped this morning. I, I, you know, someone put it in my Discord. I was like, "What? They're doing balance changes? It's pretty cool." But you know, like I said, the only one I'm really much a fan of is the uh, the leader Ash buff, which I think is really nice. And like I said, I think that's kind of made him the best leader in the game now. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that sub button if you're on your channel. Like I said, I will be streaming this game, you know, uh, in a couple hours, so you'll probably see this on my channel somewhere. And I have been Pixels, my awesome viewers. I'll catch you guys in the next one.